Behind me, we have one of the most luxurious, one of the most sought after restaurants in Accra, Ghana. This is the Accra Polo Club and Restaurant. You can see that the polo field, obviously it's not polo season right now. So I thought the best thing to do is take everyone with you and show you what a five star experience looks like. You understand when we get in the inside, why it is so luxurious and why it is so prestigious. So come with me, let's get in. And if you're new, smash that subscribe button so we can grow together, get better together and improve low by low every single day while spreading Ghana and while spreading Africa to the world. You can see straight away from entering, there's a lot of greenery and the finishes from the outside. And as soon as you walk in the door, including the service, you know it is going to be luxurious. From the tree that they had made out of all different types of expensive champagnes to the whiskies, from the Chardonnay champagne that is on display in their walls to their bathrooms, which are so well finished. And as you can see, there's no paper towels here. These are actual towels you get given. Their menu has an array of different foods, of different cocktails you can choose from. You can go vodkas, you can go gins, you can go whiskey, bourbon, different types of beer, and from all different places on the world. Now when you start looking at the food, they have pastas, they have burgers, they have steaks, they have fish dishes, they have side dishes, and literally anything you can think of, but what they are most famous for is their sushi. Their sushi obviously comes at a premium, but it is extremely, extremely good. And anyone you talk to will say, have you tried the sushi? So I think one of us have to try the sushi. Let's jump into the food. To start it off, we got our drinks. I currently have, this is a virgin pina colada. Clayton got the same, my mom got a Bloody Mary, but these are virgin ones, obviously because I am driving. Gotta respect the rules, can't be drinking and driving. So let me give it a taste and show you guys what it's like. These virgin ones I think were 30 CDs. Last time I had it with the alcohol and, and they're absolutely delicious. So let's do a little taste. That is really, really nice. I love coconut and absolutely anything. You can put it in any food and I absolutely love it. I'll definitely give that around an 8 out of 10. Really, really good. It's such a refreshing drink during such a hot day. Let's look at the food menu and find us some food. I absolutely love bread so the thought of getting olive bread with some toasted bread along with some tomato puree which you can put on top of your bread and then having your olive oil and balsamic vinegar is an amazing touch to set the tone for your meal. Main meals have come. Clayton got a risotto which looks absolutely delicious. My mom ended up getting sushi which also looks out of this world. I ended up going with the club sandwich just to try something different that I haven't had before. And truth be told, a little bit disappointed in it. It kind of just looks like bread where they cut the crust off for the price, for the novelty, for the luxury of coming here. I do not think this one unfortunately lived up to expectation. And I just giving an honest review of it, but maybe it'll taste good. And then I have my tomato sauce and my honey mustard mayo. So let me give a little quick bite in this and let you all know what I think. At least the bread is a little bit crispy, which is nice. They did give us starters, which were olive bread, which had about six of those. Put some balsamic vinegar on. So let's give an opinion. Honest opinion, it's really good, very, very tasty, but I think the appearance of it lets it down. I must say one of the reasons why I think the Polo Club does so well is because it separates itself from the outside. Whether you're sitting on the balcony, whether you're sitting on the lawn downstairs having cocktails, having meals, you can see all the greenery you're looking out at. It's a very, very tranquil setting. They have fans because if anyone knows in a crowd in Ghana, it's very, very hot. So it's just a lovely, refreshing atmosphere to be outside having greenery all around you. And then as soon as you step inside, as I touched on earlier, all the finishes with the statues, with the difference in the, the wall textures, with the high ceilings, with the wooden beams, to having all different types of expensive champagne, different types of expensive whiskies. And then if you look at the lights, how they have chains hanging from the ceiling with their lights on, their lights are all at different heights and then they're not flush to the ceiling. So I think it gives it a really, really different dynamic. And then you get the difference with the brick wall, the tower wall, the wooden features, you got the big mirrors that really open it up and then the whole side just letting in tons of natural light. Just finished our meal there. Steps outside and I wanted to take 
all of you along with and show you what service, what high class food you can experience when inside there. But what I must say is the interior, everything service was brilliant. If I had to rate the inside, the atmosphere, the look, the vibe and everything of the place, then I would definitely give it an 8 out of 10. But if I had to rate what my food was, then unfortunately it would probably be, I might give it a 6. So take it as you wish. This is where it is. It's the Accra Polo Club. It's normally absolutely brilliant, but I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I hope you saw the types of food. Let me know what you think. Am I being too cynical for the price? Do you guys think that it was a great deal? Let me know in the comment section below. But if you're new here, smash that subscribe button. So we can grow together, get better together, and improve low below every single day while spreading Africa and while spreading Ghana to the world.